dam's been here for a long time, probably 20 years at least. So we had to clean it out, get back to a fresh, clean base, make a nice brand new marron pond from the get-go. The aim of the project was to create an environment that hopefully the marron will thrive in. In the southwest, there's many dams across the region and we were taking this opportunity to provide a blank slate to see if marron juice better or uh, happier in this environment, which provided habitat, aeration and food for them. We moved a lot of clay and dirt from the backwater, moved it forward so we got a nice clean from two and a half metres down to four metres. That's probably the ideal depth for marron to grow in. Before the water comes through, we put on the ground 800 stack of pallet. Historically, the dam just fills up from winter rains, and as it turned out, it wasn't a very wet winter. So we have a, a river pipe from the Preston River, and all winter, while the river's in pretty much flood, and probably pumped for close on a month while the river was running very well, and that's how we topped it up. We do have a pipe there that we can keep the, the dam topped up. It'll be there forever if we ever look like it's going to fall a bit short again. After the water reach a good level, we start to build the pontoon. So around 250 metres of pontoon last year. The Christmas tree layout is to reach a maximum space of the dam. So we can have a middle trunk, some arms each side to try to reach and to cover more space in the dam. Between June and July 2023, we put 50,000 juvenile in the dam. So little juvenile, no more than two grams. So as we go forward over the next 12 months, our benchmark will be the production of marron from this dam. We know exactly how many juveniles went in and we can count how many animals come back out. And we can also gather data throughout the year on the oxygen levels, the quality of the water, the amount of feed that we give to these animals that supplement their natural environmental food. With the shed, we have some electricity to provide some aeration also in the dam. So in the dam, we have six compressors running 48 diffuser all around the dam. By providing aeration, there is a stimulation of the water. So there's constant water movement, meaning there's no stratification within the dam. So there's a uniform temperature and uniform uh, environment for the marron. We've used renewable energy in this form of solar to provide the power for the aeration and any other components across the dam. So this is completely self-sufficient now that it has been installed. After a bit less than one year, we tried to catch some marron in this dam and they already grow from 80 grams. The bigger one we catch, it's uh, almost 150 grams. Later this year, there should be some very good sized marron in the, in the dam so we can start harvest and move on from there. We hope with the continuation of this project that we can provide a benchmark and a template for the rest of the marron producers and anyone with an irrigation dam within the southwest and hopefully even globally so that everyone can enjoy marron.